Hey everybody, welcome to GGS Railways. My name is Greg, this is my YouTube channel. All right, we got some more stuff from Timu. <laughs> and this time it's mostly buildings. We did get a few little odds and ends. Uh, my, my goal, my, <laughs> my mission, so to speak, this time was to see what kind of model, model railroad accessories they had. Uh, there won't be any like uh, train sets or rolling stock or anything like that in there. Now, having said that, I guess you might say that this little bee bust and it is quite cute. We'll show you this in a minute. Uh, it came with the order. So uh, yeah, we, we now have transit. All right, how about that? So all right, so in this order, uh, in addition to the bus, we got some, uh, some LEDs that I'm really not sure what I was thinking when I ordered them. Uh, you kind of get into the, uh, the uh, Timu website and you find things that you, woo, you know, <laughs> and then you're like, wait, what did I do? <laughs> I'm not sure how they do that. And this here, this is, uh, and we'll show you this closer. This is actually some uh, light posts with some uh, signs, like street lights. Anyway, that's pretty cool for, uh, supposed to be for a model railroad. Anyway, I thought we'd pick these up. I think they're a couple bucks. All right, so before we get uh, zoomed in and we get real to go in here, because I want to open, you know, at least a couple of these packages, because believe it or not, this is one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buildings. <laughs> nine buildings. <laughs> Does this look like buildings? I don't know. I'm really curious about you guys. All right, let's get the zoom. Let's zoomed in. Let's take a look. Yes, all right, so I got this madness all <laughs> zoomed in here and we're ready to take a look. Now I'm going to pause right here for just a second. And I'm going to show you a picture of the bus. Very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, yes, I'm, I'm, I may have to get another one of those buses. I really do think it would be quite that cool. All right, so let's see. Should we start with the smallest or the largest? Now, I can almost see the largest maybe being buildings, but this little one, I don't know. I'm curious. Let's find out. Let's see what we've got here. So, all right. I'm going to open this in a way that we don't cut anything inside. So, when you order from Timu, it comes in a big bag. And somehow the big bag came up missing between the time that I got it and today. I don't know. Grandma's. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so that's okay because this stuff's kind of in a bag. It's kind of like kind of like an unboxing, kind of sort of. So wow. All right. <laughs> this is a bunch of small pieces. They look like they do snap together. And I see some windows and so forth. Uh, what do you say we take this out of the package? Maybe we can take a look. I don't know. You know. I'm hoping these are easy to build. Now, scale-wise, um, these I'm guessing are maybe HO, maybe N, and maybe neither. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's one of the things about buying stuff on Timo. It gives you like the scale, but it doesn't like tell you if it's HO or N. So I mean, you can easily figure it out. But uh, I just thought, you know, I mean, I, I don't know how much this pile of buildings was, but it wasn't much, <laughs> which is what kind of made me want to buy it. So, all right. Let's see, do we need instructions for this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, when we got the uh, the big boy, the uh, the building block set big boy that we put together that took us, what, 48 actual hours <laughs> to build? Uh, yeah, that uh, came in something, uh, and it was quite a few pieces, I think 1,680. <laughs> Woo! And you know, I'm, you know, I haven't built a model or anything in years and years and years. So, all right, so this uh, has letters and numbers and I don't know. All right, I'm gonna get out a piece of something to work on here. We're gonna take a look and uh, that way maybe you guys can see it a little bit better, maybe a little more contrast than my countertop here. Let me do that, I'll be right back. All right guys, I have this all laid out here on the uh, drywall. Let's see if we can put this together. Um, <laughs> so these don't come with any instructions, but I think that uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to look at the pieces and they only fit together one piece like the you know no no pieces the uh, little slots and notches are identical so anyway that's what I think uh, <laughs> I don't know that to be so but I think that's so all right so let's see uh, I know that this is the the top and this is actually a balcony because I remember seeing the pictures thinking that was kind of cool that a model would have a balcony all right, so that means that this is probably a side. And uh, I think I'm going to be right on that. Yeah. So, all right. So, in theory, no other piece could fit there. <laughs> I said in theory, right? 
Okay, so let's see. So that means that this one would go here. Alright, so far so good. Alright, so. Now I do have the glue out here, but I think I want to wait <laughs> until I make sure that I'm doing this correctly before I glue anything. Alright, yeah. right, that got snapped in, so that sounded good. So alright, so I think, uh, looks like more, more balcony there, doesn't it? So let's see. I think this actually. Uh, I got this backwards. Let's see. No, nope, I see the uh, see the front porch for the front door here. So I think this is right. Wow. Okay, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe that that wall was premature. It's all right. I need to keep it down here where you guys can see. I'm trying not to pull a Greg and make it to where nobody can see. All right. Let's see, got that. Oh, look at that little notch fits in there. Nice. All right, well, I feel like we're already doing something here. So, all right, I know for a fact that there's like a floor. <laughs> Inexplicably, there's a floor that you can see, I think, through one of the windows or something like that. Uh, that one, I think. So, I think this probably goes. Oh, that's the balcony. That's what I was thinking. All right, so. That's going to go here. All right. Well, so far, so good. All right. I've built more models <laughs> since I got back into the model railroading than uh, probably ever in my life. <laughs> so, all right. So, this is probably the back wall. But once again, I think this has uh, floors and stuff uh, in between. I do see a slot there. Uh, that's probably for the for the front porch, though. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Does that fit there? Maybe. Uh, nope. It's only got slots on one side, so that probably a clue. <laughs> so all right, let's see here. So would that go on the front? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, nope. <clears throat> All right, well, we were doing so good there for a second. Now we are not. So, all right, we're looking for, maybe if uh, if we play with this wall, it'll become evident what we need to do. So, oh, I think I do see where it goes, actually. Uh, okay, I think I just remembered. So there's supposed to be a little wall here with a window. So that must be this, look. All right. See, we don't have this style of of uh, buildings here. Uh, I think actually, uh, if I remember correctly, reading in the description, this is supposed to be from Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> so, all right. I'm not sure. Not sure who picked that as a prototype, but there you go. So, all right. So then we got something that looks like yet another floor. Uh, that doesn't fit there. I'm wondering if it goes maybe. Well, no. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself there. So, all right, actually, I think that's probably the roof for here, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah, it looks like a roof. It really does. So, all right. So, this is the back wall. And, obviously, that's going to go there, and those pegs will go there. So I don't think anything else goes on the inside because there's no pegs on the back side. So I think we might be safe putting in this back wall. Um, we can always take it back out, if not. So and then pegs did go in that hole, so that probably means it goes there. All right, I'm trying to keep it on the camera where you guys can see. All right, is it looking like a building yet? <laughs> So I'm guessing this must be like close to in scale. Uh, that's just a guess. I don't, I don't know that. I don't know anything for sure. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this other wall in here. So, all right, let's see. Get it down first. All right, yay! And you know, I, well, I'm not even gonna say that. I almost jinxed this, guys. I almost jinxed this. So, all right, looking like a building. <laughs> so apparently this only goes here. And I do think it's probably this, but I don't know that. Then we got this little piece and this piece and then this piece. 
that I have no idea what the heck that is. Oh, this is probably, is this a porch maybe? No, that's, I think that's the roof for here. Might as well put this on because I'm pretty sure this goes here. All right. Let's see, does it? I believe it does, yeah. All right, that goes there. It actually stays together pretty well without glue even. So I'm st probably still gonna glue it because I don't like it when things fall apart. <laughs> so all right, so I got this, this unexplained piece here that only has tabs on one side. So I'm kind of thinking it probably goes here. Uh, it does not go there. Well, that's kind of a surprise because I thought it went there. Well, now, <laughs> then we got this piece here that's uh, also kind of unexplained. So we got this little mystery piece here. What about this? Does this go here? You know, that does fit there. Um, so is it like a second, a second balcony maybe? I don't know. I just don't know. So all right, then maybe this piece goes here. What do you think? Maybe. Uh, I believe it does. So I reserve, I reserve the right to change my mind on that, but I think that's how it goes. So all right, so we inexplicably have a. Oh, I see where it goes. This piece that goes right here, I believe. That doesn't make any sense. Does that make sense to you? Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Let's see, does it? Okay, I'm gonna have to look at the picture. <laughs> I'm not convinced. Let me look at the picture and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cheated and I looked on the website and this piece right here actually goes on the inside. <laughs> it goes right here. And I'm not exactly sure why it does that. I guess so if you're looking inside, it has a ceiling, which is a little interesting because it doesn't have floors, but okay, I don't know, whatever. Whatever works, I'm gonna put it together. So that goes there. Our front wall will snap in. And that supposedly will make better sense. So let's see. All right, yeah, it snaps together, so that's bound to be how it goes. All right, so go ahead and put the side back on. I opened it up because I just knew that was going to be a floor inside. It was not. It's not a floor inside. So, all right. Now, this guy actually snaps together very well. Um, I'm actually quite impressed. So, all right. Another, another Timu uh, purchase that I'm actually impressed with. Wow. So, all right. Just line up all the little pegs. There's quite a few pegs to line up on this side. Let's see. If I can even see where the pegs are. Uh, gosh, there's one, I think. Yeah, got that one. And there's that one, I think. I think we about got it. Uh, is it gonna be a pain on the last peg? <laughs> Maybe, possible, there it goes. All right, so a little patience goes a long way on that. So all right, so this little roof does go on here. Once again, I'm not quite sure where that piece goes in there. Oh, you can't see in there anyway. I, how about, anyway. And this piece here goes here, which looks a little funny, but I did look at the picture and that is how it goes. All right, very cool. So, anything need gluing? You know, not really. You know, that's actually an exceptionally good <laughs> Good model, the way that that stuck together. All right, that's pretty cool. What do y'all think about that? Should we do another one? <laughs> I kind of want to do another one. That's pretty cool. I think they all probably, on this side anyway, all to go together the same way. They're all pretty similar. So let's do that. All right, so we got that guy. That's one. So, all right, let's see what else we got here.
pretty impressive. My goodness. All right, here we go. So onto what may be a bigger, bigger piece. It's uh, feels like it's bigger. So all right, let's see what we got here. So I remember buying those. I'm not not sure I remember these. These may actually be just the bigger, bigger size of these or something. I don't know. Everything I thought was cool, I I bought because you know it's not a lot of money. Okay, so this is a hospital. <laughs> I interrupted myself. This is a hospital, and I know that because it says hospital. So this one was pretty cool looking, I thought. All right, so this looks like it's probably O scale. All right, we already have a hospital. We have a plastic grill hospital, but you know, you can never have too many hospitals. And we do have more than one layout. So, all right. Very cool. Okay, so we got a lot of red, a lot of color on this one. I kind of like that. I like that a lot. Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of red pieces. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Well, we have to look at the instructions on this one. All right. So let's see. I think we can get the building built, though. So we got two what looks like kind of identical pieces. And then, and then, of course, I think this is probably the base, just based on 
based <laughs> based on <laughs> uh, previous experience with uh, some of these. So, all right, I think that's I think that's about right. So, let's see. This is uh, bound to be the front. What do you think? I think that's bound to be the front. So, all right, it's more detailed on that side. So, let's see. What are the uh, what are the odds? Nope, not gonna work there. But we only got two two snaps or two things on this side, so maybe it goes this way. Wow. <laughs> so cool. All right. All right, we're done. No. <laughs> no, I think we may have a few more things to do here, Greg. All right. <laughs> so this is clearly the roof. It's all right. So and I'm assuming that these are probably the side walls and this is the back wall. And not sure on these yet. <laughs> so, all right. Let's see here. So, uh, side walls. Let's see. Um... So does it go this way, um, or does it go the other way? Hmm. Well, you know, I bet you it's designed in a way that it can only go one way. Is what I bet, and I think it goes that way. It looks more, looks more natural. So all right, let's try it. Let's try it. So let's see, can I get it to go on there? Or am I up to do something else here? So this may not be this side. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. So, all right, yeah, it looks right once you get it like that. So, all right, looks like the front wall can still go on. So, all right. Uh oh, thought I broke off the little little peg there, but I didn't. So I'm I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that save because that could have been bad. All right, so uh, yes, looking more like a building by the moment. <laughs> so, all right, let's see here. Uh, let's see. So if that one goes this way, that one goes this way as well. So that's uh, that's some possibly thought. Flawed logic, but I don't think so. I think it's okay. It's so, all right here. We'll see if we have to do like the other side and take off the front. I hope not. Because I think there's only so many times you can probably snap this stuff together. Uh, like, I, like I alluded to a few times now, this was pretty inexpensive. All right. Yay! We have three quarters of a <laughs> of a something here. So all right. So and that clearly is the roof. Now I'm wondering if the roof ought to go on before the back. I think so. I really do. So all right. So the roof has three holes on the front, three holes on the back. So I think it can go either way. Let's get this snapped in here. Very cool. All right. Maybe some sidewalls. Uh -oh. Can't quite see the peg here. Um, all right, that could be a little problematic. Uh, there it goes. All right. Wow. Very cool. Looking kind of hospitalish already. So, all right. Let's see here. Um, based on the way that sides are, this is the way this is going to go. All right. Yay. All right, we have a building. Woohoo! So, all right, so these things here. What are these things here? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> so, um, I want to say that they clearly go here somehow. 
Now, what they do exactly is not clear to me at this moment. And there's two of them. So I'm going to say it has something to do with the sign. Is what I'm going to say. And that's just a guess at this point, but I think it's probably a good guess. Be nice if it stayed together. So right, that looks like a sign, right? I bet this goes. Let's just go here. I can tell you already. So this, uh, this hospital sign, I think, is going to go right here. And I think we're probably going to have to glue that to the building because it is a little loose on one of those tabs. So uh, we'll see. We will see. One. Two. All right. Now it's a hospital. We know it's a hospital because it says it's, <laughs> it says it's a hospital. <laughs> All right. So then we got sides for the sign as well. And uh, let's see how this works out. Uh, once again, we are definitely going to have to glue this baby on. Let's see. So, let's see. That goes there. Alright. I think we'll get the sign built before we glue anything. Make sure, make sure we're doing it right. So, Alright. Off. It might be easier to press this on. So let's see. Hmm. No, we're not. There's one, two, three, four. All right, we have a hospital sign. Yay! And it goes right here. Once again, we will probably have to glue that on. Get it down. I don't know if you guys could even see that. Let's see. So yeah, it's gonna have to gonna have to get some glue. But let's see what else we need to do first here. Just like that, we have a hospital. <laughs> nice! That's really nice. I like that. So very cool. So all right. So I'm pretty sure that this this one here, which was in the same package as this, is this identical building. It's just a police station. But uh, now that we've built that one, we will be able to do this one pretty much in our sleep, right? What do you think? Let's try it.
All right, guys, I screwed up. <laughs> These are supposed to go inside. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How are we going to do that? <laughs> Let's see. All right. I think, I think this space will come off pretty easily, maybe. Uh, the bottom will definitely come off easy because we can't hardly seem to keep him on. So maybe we can do this. Maybe it won't be quite as hard as I'm imagining. Actually, I think it might be okay. I mean, not great, but it might be okay. All right, so let's see. Um, uh, how am I gonna hold that? Well, there we go. I got it. So yeah, these uh, <laughs> these are supposed to go inside. <laughs> these go right here. So yeah, I did not have that correct at all. Wow. Well, all right. That makes it a lot more stable. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Wow. Alright guys, so I was just about to glue this all back together to never be taken back apart and when I thought to myself, you know, I bought these LEDs and I uh, have some parchment paper, I could go ahead and light these guys up. So uh, I'm glad that I didn't finish that, I actually got tired and <clears throat> this is actually the uh, next day. So I'm glad that I went to bed and uh, otherwise this would all be glued together and uh, <laughs> that option would be forever gone. So. All right, I know that probably most of you have seen me do this before. What you do is you simply cut uh, parchment paper <clears throat> to the size that will go uh, over the walls you know, to cover the windows. And then when you light it up, it looks really cool. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a little bit. Okay, so you just kind of stretch out your uh, parchment paper and kind of cut it an approximate size. Uh, there is no exact anything to this process. Not for me anyway. I mean, I'm sure that probably some folks probably painstakingly measure. Uh, what I found is it doesn't matter. <laughs> when I first did this the first time, I thought to myself, you know, uh, is it going to show where, you know, the parchment paper stops and starts? And it doesn't. So there you go. It doesn't matter what size you cut the paper as long as it covers the windows. So, all right. Uh, let's see. So what you, what you do want to do you want to make sure that you're uh, doing it in a way that you can easily cover the windows because just short of the window uh, that'll make your life not too fun so all right all right so I'm just gonna bend this over give us a little bit of a guide for where to cut it um, doesn't once again have to be exact you just got to cover the windows what you don't want it to do is be so short that uh, it doesn't cover the windows because then you had to go back with another piece and kind of gets kind of gets uh, ridiculous at a point there. So all right, I think this will work. Let's stick it in there and check it out. All right, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off this edge here. So all right, it's really pretty pretty low tech. So all right, I think if we just cut it along this. This line they provided right here on this parchment paper, <laughs> we will be just fine. Now, another thing they're worried about when I did the parchment paper is that these lines would show they do not. So you don't really have to worry about that. So, okay. So that's looking pretty good. <clears throat> Got a little bit of an issue over here, but nothing, nothing we can't handle. Um, if you put it in there and you find that you have to cut it, it's kind of difficult to cut it after the fact. So you kind of kind of want to make it to where it will cover the windows without having to cut it later because uh, that tends to be a little bit of a pain. So all right. So now let's see. Apparently I have that in sideways. All right. Yeah, that'll work just fine. <clears throat> so now the way that I do this is I just... Of course, it's easier if you haven't already assembled your <laughs> your building. Impossible had I actually glued on the back side yet. But uh, what I do is I just I go on the inside, not the outside, <laughs> the inside, and trace it with just a thin thin bead of glue, and then I just put my paper on, and it holds real nice. 
Uh, I've also seen people use tape, but uh, at this point I don't think that we'd be able to use tape uh, just simply because I don't think we could get it in there to, to hold it very good. It's all right. <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of outline the outline the windows with the uh, glue and uh, we'll just go from there. All right. Well, and it probably goes without saying, but you don't really want the uh, glue to go through the window to the outside, so watch that. <clears throat> All right, so far so good. I'm just doing kind of little circles around the the uh, inside of the window frames there, so that it will go nice and good. Because you don't want little little voids where the light will sneak behind it, because that doesn't look cool. So all right. <laughs> Let's do this. Just kind of sneak it in there. Make sure you're where you want to want to be, and then just rub it down. Rub it down there in place. Now I did do something that I did not intend to do, but that's okay. I can come back and I can trim it. It's just not easy. And what I did was I accidentally got this edge sticking outside, but it'll be okay. not not a huge deal. But see how the See how that makes kind of the uh, the window effect. Uh, let's see, pretty cool, huh? And if you do happen to get some, just just wipe it. <coughs> Very good. All right, so let's uh, let's trim this here. And excuse me, I do have a head cold or something, guys. I do apologize for the hacking and <laughs> snorting. It's not not intentional. I just. Just got something. All right, so yeah, that, that worked out pretty well on that one, that time anyway. So all right, so that's pretty much what it looks like. Just kind of make sure that you, you got all of them. That's a lot of windows. You don't normally have that many windows, but uh, that, that's going to look good. It's going to be cool, look really cool when we light that up. So the way this building is designed, it's got a whole. It comes down here, and then it's got a hole here, and then a hole here, a hole here. <clears throat> so I can do a little light here, do a light here. Uh, I can do a light here in the garage. That's gonna look pretty cool. So three lights, and I just so happen to have three lights out here. So uh, these are just 12 volt <clears throat> LEDs, and uh, that works pretty good. The only thing you gotta know when you do uh, LEDs is they are polarity sensitive. In other words, if you cross Across the uh, wiring, for instance, if you did the uh, positive to the negative, they wouldn't light because diodes don't, or yeah, well, they are <laughs> diodes, light emitting diodes. That's what LED stands for. Uh, they only light up when they uh, have the power going one way. So, all right, very cool. All right, so let's see. I got this next next wall here. I did this one without you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it just occurred to me like oh you know that really look cool lit up and then I was like oh I'm fixing to destroy that option it's all right and this is the only one I really glued that well the rest of them I didn't glue all that well so because this one was kind of a bit of a booger so all right so I think if I'm not mistaken I think last night I looked on Timu and this this guy here's like eight bucks so that's that's pretty good deal for eight bucks I think I think it's a good deal anyway so all right Let's see here. And the fact that they planned ahead for your lighting, that's really cool. All right, so then we got this piece here. This one's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get in here because it's just kind of narrow. And of course we already glued the sides, so we may get some, some glue on our hand maybe. So let's see. Just gonna cut this along this straight line. Knowing it really doesn't mean much. because the other side's already cut. <clears throat> so once again, if you want to be like really exact, you can be. I, I just done this, uh, this particular project enough times that I know that it doesn't have to be just like crazy exact. So all right, so this one, the uh, length 
is a little more sensitive than what it normally is just because it's got a door that goes almost to the bottom on the end there. It's all right. We still got a little bit of play because the window doesn't go all the way up to the roof, obviously. Uh, couldn't see my line there for a minute. Now, it's not the end of the world if you if you miscut these. Just make sure you lay it in ahead of time. And uh, if you got one like this where it's hard to get to, you can you know you can put it on the on the outside. Just don't glue it on the outside to uh, check your fit. All right. So see this one. This one's just a little too, <clears throat> a little too wide here on the bottom. So we're just taking, just cut that up a little bit. You got a lot of space here and a lot of space here, so this one isn't quite as critical on the, uh, on the width. All right, so yeah, see that looks pretty good, I think. And that ought to work, it's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and get our windows outlined like we did on the last one. Alright, let's take a look. So yeah, that's what it looks like on the front. That's pretty cool. And of course, I already did this one without you guys. Once again, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I just happened to think about it and I was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And of course, you know, I ordered the LEDs, and I think yesterday I said that I didn't remember what I ordered them for. Well, duh. <laughs> All right, so yeah. All right, so we got one window in the one very tiny window here, or two very tiny windows here in the garage. We can probably just do that with one strip, probably just a skinny strip. Then on the second story, we got four windows up here. Uh, wow, we got win <laughs> we got windows on all sides of this building. I just noticed that. Wow. Okay, so because we got windows up here that I hadn't noticed, and then we got windows along here. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Yes, it is. That is very well glued. We're not taking that apart. Uh, not not in my lifetime. Not without destroying it anyway. So, all right. Let's see what we can do here. How's it look from over here? Yes, that looks quite nice. Very good. So, okay, the only thing we got left to do is the uh, the back wall, which is right here. And that'll be easy, because I mean, you know, we don't have anything but these little pegs to, to go around or deal with or worry about. So I'm gonna put my, put my garage, building, whatever this is <laughs> over there. I like the garage part. I think that's really cool. I like this other garage too. When, that, when those get lit up, that's going to look super, super freaking cool. You watch. All right, so.
All right, very cool. <clears throat> Let's get the, uh, the lights in this guy. And um, these LEDs, I'm not sure what kind of life they have, but I'm gonna, I'm going to glue them in place. And uh, if we have to replace it, well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that we're actually gonna be able to do that in any case, but uh, anyway, we can just hope for a long life. Now what I am gonna do, because I got several different colors of, of LEDs here that, uh, and I've opened all the packages trying to look for the white ones. I wanna make sure that these are white because uh, if they're red or green or blue, uh, that's gonna look a little funny. <laughs> Might have to wonder what kind, of, what kind of business they're doing in there. All right, so let's see. What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put one light here, one light here, and then one light maybe in the middle of the garage here. What do y'all think? You think that's a good idea? I think that's a good idea. The way, because these balls are open, I think the light will wash. I don't think I need a, more bolts here. We may, uh... So okay, we're gonna let that dry for just a minute or two and we'll be right back. And we'll get all this wired up and then we'll get on the back and we'll see what it looks like. Perfect. All right, I don't know who lives here, but I wonder if they're adopting. <laughs> so I like the little cars in here. Um, I have one light here. I think probably one, another one here, another one here. And this is real dim down here. So I'm thinking maybe another light down here on the floor, just because that's such a tall area and the light's coming down from here. Other than that, I think I'm pretty pleased with it. I don't know if I want or need another light in this area or not. I got lots of lights, so let me see what I'm gonna do and we'll get right back to you. All right, so yes, the, <laughs> the extra LEDs in the garage were definitely worth the price of admission. I like the way that this is lit up a bit. I kind of like that these are dim now that I'm looking at it. I think at night that'll look cool. It'll look a little bit more realistic than the whole thing be, being lit up, uh, you know, uniformly like that. So I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, <laughs> the infrastructure involved to, uh, do, to do this is actually, and I'm gonna show you guys because nobody would believe this. The, uh, the infrastructure we got going on back here to provide all this, I mean, it's, it's, it's looking pretty crazy. Look at that. <laughs> wow. And of course, we'll have to tidy that up a little bit. But my goodness, that's a lot of wires. That's a lot of lights. Very cool. All right, let's get on to the next thing. All right, guys. So this is all wired up. It's lit up. It's hooked up. <laughs> it's buttoned up. Everything's glued together. There is no going back now. I am pleased. <laughs> this, uh, this turned out so freaking nice. Adding those other two LED lights in the garage area, that just made the whole, the whole thing just so much better. So I think once again, I think this was $7 on Timu, so well worth $7. I think the LEDs for all those I bought, I think it was like, I don't know, 4 or $5 a pack and you got like, it's a bunch of different colors and you know, a bunch of white, bunch of green, bunch of red, some blue. Anyway, so all right, what do you guys think about this? Pretty freaking awesome. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with doing all the rest of them, but when I get all the rest of them done here, we're gonna put them all together, we're gonna make a little scene, and uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll call it the, the uh, Timu City, how about that? <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, by the way, this one is O scale, and then the hospital and the, uh, the uh, police station, those are HO. Then the smallest ones yet, those are in scale. So I, I did look all those up early this morning because I felt kind of dumb for not knowing that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what these are. All right, onward.
you're the cure to love.